my people if you're new here my name is Flo and I'm in the car with my family that's Nerdy girl Nerdy say hello <laughs> Kamsi <laughs> on his phone hobby on the steering we're going to a neighboring city in search of Nigerian food you know in my last video I told you guys that we finished all the Nigerian food we came back from Nigeria with in January so we need to go and look for more because we cannot survive without Nigerian foods you see all the we're traveling 100 kilometers to go and find Nigerian food can you beat that this is one of the challenges of living in Obodoibo especially when you live in a city where you cannot buy Nigerian food I mean we can buy Nigerian food where we live, but not everything. So I'm going to look for Oboroko. <laughs> so come with us. Let's take you to this Nigerian food hunt adventure. I packed some snacks and drinks for the road trip. So everyone is sorted. I have a video on how to make this snack perfect for picnics, road trips, and school or work snack. The city we're going to is Victoria. Yes, that V is pronounced with a B. Victoria is in northern Spain. I enjoy driving on this route due to the landscape. Even though it looks so dry, let's face it, Spain is pretty much a desert country. Okay, more arid than desert. Yeah, most places look dry, but I like the rocky mountains, the undulating hills, the vast land really. We have arrived. Hey. Hey. It's cold in this Victoria. Victoria. So we're in a city called Victoria. <laughs> see the shop we're going to. This is the only African food shop that we know here. If you know another one, let us know so that we can be going there as well. Hope he's buying malt. Chicken. Ha. Will they cut it for us? Excuse me, sir. No, 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 I see nobody. Pardon. La corta. They don't cut it. See, apple, tinned banga. This gonna fresh one. It's good. Let's buy one. Keep this one. Over there. Let me check the dates. 
So many, so many different ones. I've used the Ghana fries before, it's okay. Then, palm oil. Mm. This palm oil has a lot of sediments. This one that they'll use red bottle to bottle. You don't even know the color of the palm oil or whatever they put inside. Nigerian heritage. Let's try this one. This one is Ghana heritage. <laughs> Ghana heritage. It looks like it's the same company. This one is Ghana heritage. This one is Nigeria heritage. <laughs> yeah. Maybe looking for turkey. For turkey, yeah. Huh? The ear of stockfish. Let me buy you. Six euros. African leaf. Where is the plastic bag? How much is this? This is 15 euros per kilo. 15? 15 euros per kilo. How much is this? Go and do it. The key. Morocco is tasty, especially in bitterly soup and oras soup. So that's why I'm buying it. Bent. Look for the meaty ones, the ones that have some fish. Dry fish. I don't call it a baby. 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 I get a bum bum. I get a bread. I'm going to go to the baby. I'm going to try to find it. I get a bread. 
You you want to eat a gege bread? No. No, no cookem. No cookem kucha. Smoked catfish. So called smoked fish. Dried catfish. Hey. Man. Wow. Rusted lizard fish, my dear Lizard fish or lizard, which one? Grand egusi, egusi, egusi. Black pepper hole, but this thing looks like um. Ozezayen, they called it black pepper here. It looks like Ozeza for me. I think it's Ozeza. See Obono. See that thing I keep saying? Once you see these things outside that are labeled with the traditional name, this is Obono. Obono, Obono. And these ones are whole seeds. So you know what you're getting. Pepper soup spices. <laughs> oh. Okaze. You see? Okaze. Even, even the, this one is named Okaze. So they don't change the name because these uh, traditional names are even more popular than the English name. So for those that keep asking me, what is the English name? Wh whatever I say in my video that it's called go to an african shop and that's what you see it labeled as look at this is aden pod eh? this is aden pod yeah it's aden look at it you see we call it epicus ssa it's aden yeah it's aden pod from the drawing that thing that you used to cook uh, use it to cook a lot of uh, epic ibibio soups you find it here what else can you find here that is traditional mm -hmm. see stockfish head cut into pieces stockfish Stockfish head, cut. You see. So if you want to, if you want isio boroko, this is it. It's been cut for you already. Ground egusi, same. Different brands. Look at this one. Tusk, cutlet. This is um a kind of stockfish as well. There's one of my videos I made in Oyibo Market where one lady was explaining the different types of or different grades. This is the tusk. It's, it has a stockfish flavor as well. This one is haddock. This one, this one is good. I'll buy this one. It's good. Let me buy it. Buy it for making a bacha. The dry, these they are dry fish. I don't understand it, so I'm not buying. Flies. So it's fish, 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 fish. Uh, we bought a bit of this mackerel. Well, ma this mackerel is seasonal, and we can't find it in the supermarkets where we live anymore. I got the brown beans because our own is almost finished. In fact, the one remaining there. And then I bring plastic bag from there. Mm -hmm. wow. Me. 
Like this. Yeah, I will very soon. In one month. Is there any other thing that is special here? Corn. Okay, if you want to make a camo, you can use this cracked corn here and this one as well. Mm, I can use this one. I've used this one before. Just that it has a lot of chaff. This corn is too fat. It's filled with just chaff. But, yeah, this then you can use this cracked one. There's another type of corn here as well. Eh? Then you have so many other things. This shop is owned by a Chinese man. So many other things that are not necessarily Nigerian, but yeah, for foreigners. Samola. Kingwa. This one that looks like Opa. See okra. It's not even fresh. I'm not buying. We can buy okra where we live. Habanero, Ataro, 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 Sea Mango. This is not really an African shop, just that they sell African food ingredients. It's not really an African shop. It's okay. Look at plantains. We can buy plantains where we live. No need. And ripe ones, cassava, yam. Edition of Mangoteji. Eh? Hey! Look at the lady. It's the Mangoji. I got a Fuji. Quanto? Quanto nyame? Un kilo. Dos con neventa. Well. Go and take this one to him. Let's, let's buy it. Mm. Yeah. Arena de maiz. Pound yam. Ah. On the yam, but you have rice inside. <laughs> See, white gari. Hmm, this long green rice. Eh? This is basmati. Eh? Oh. Then come see, go and keep it. Oh, he's not buying. Uh, a mango. I uh, said, should I take? I, I said, should I take this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, so they are my band. Then then there's another the car, the chaka, the chaka duty. It's not them. Go go home, man. Go home, man. You know the chaka. The car, you know. Oh, so some car them. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. to go to the house. I'm going to go to We are done. Hey, good. It's cold in this town, man. Oh, lo, lo, lo. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold. These are some of the things we bought. Alubias Blancas, este, gari, este, stockfish, este, aceite de palma de Nigeria, este. Caballos. Si, caballos. And now we are on our way home. It rained for most of the time we were in Victoria. In fact, this place is so close to where we live, but I've noticed that they have a completely different climate. It, it rains all the time here.
and this is my happy dance in the garage when I remember that I have stocked up on Nigerian food till next year. Click the like button if you traveled all the way with us. Bye bye. See you soon.